Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, case number 70. Here we have a frontal and an oblique radiograph of the left hand. And the high yield question I have for everyone is, what's the most likely diagnosis here? Is this a case of gout, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, or pyrophosphate arthropathy? What's the most likely diagnosis here? And of course, the answer here is psoriasis. And this is a tough case. There's erosions here. And this is obviously a case of inflammatory arthropathy. So I want to talk about why this is a case of psoriatic arthropathy and not the other answers here. So if we take a look here, this is a, you know, cone down view of some of the findings that we see here. First of all, we see that there are multiple erosions, right? And the erosions involved also the risk, you know, the CMC, the, uh, the radiocarpal joint, but also the PIP joints and the DIP joints. And if we notice here, the erosions here are very central. If you take a look here, the erosion of the loss of bone is happening at the center of the joint. It's not really happening along the periphery or the you know, margin or a marginal erosion. It's not happening right outside the joint. Right outside the joint would be a juxtarticular erosion. At the periphery of the joint would be a marginal erosion. But at the center is a central erosion. So here we have central erosions. We have it here. We have it in a lot of the PIB joints. And we also have it uh, even in the DIP joints. If you take a look here, a lot of the bone here is eroded kind of at the distal interphalangeal joints, right? So the fact that we have distal distribution would rule out rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis, you know, only very rarely involves the DIP joints, okay? Pyrophosphate arthropathy is not really an inflammatory arthropathy, although you can have erosions, but typically the findings will have, be more degenerative at the radiocarpal joint at the wrist. It may or may not be associated with chondrocalcinosis, Okay. So, you know, the findings really here are supported best by psoriatic arthropathy. And psoriasis can also have a distal distribution. You can have central erosions and you can have marginal erosions. But, you know, the, the, when we see distal distribution, one should really think about psoriatic arthropathy as a lead cause. Now, gout, which was also in the differential here, typically results in juxtaarticular erosion. Now, any joint can be involved in gout, but we'd expect the erosions to be just outside the joint. They typically are very well defined with sclerotic margins, overhanging edges. That's not what we see here. This is a case of multiple central erosions with distal distribution. This, this joint here at the third PIB joint almost looks like a pencil and cup deformity where you have, you know, the pencil coming in here and saucerizing you know, the other middle phalanx here. And this is the cup that's receiving the pencil here at this erosion here along the base of the third middle phalanx. So, you know, we can all, sausage digits can also happen where you have marked soft tissue swelling and erosions. This is getting close to what a sausage digit would look like, but this is a nice example of what psoriatic arthropathy would look like. Psoriasis, as you know, is an inflammatory arthropathy as part of the HLA B27 seronegative spinal arthropathies. The other ones are chronic reactive arthritis, IBD arthropathy, inflammatory bowel disease arthropathy, and of course, ankylosing spondylitis. This psoriasis is, of course, radiographically, but not clinically identical to chronic reactive arthritis. So, you know, chronic reactive arthritis and psoriasis look identical radiographically on x-rays, but clinically, they're totally different. In psoriasis, we get, you know, nail pitting, we get skin, skin uh, lesions. In chronic reactive arthritis, typically results from prior infection, you know, the classic mnemonic can't see, can't pleat pee, can't climb a tree. So you get arthritis, you know, you get urethritis and you get uveitis in, in chronic reactive arthritis. There's often a distal distribution of central and marginal erosions. In this case, we had a lot of central erosions. The distal distribution is very key in psoriatic arthropathy. And you, it's interesting because you can have a row or a ray distribution. What I mean by that is row, meaning all the PIP joints can be involved in the hand and no other joint is involved. That's what we call a row distribution. A ray distribution means that all the joints of a specific finger are involved, but no other joints are involved. So for example, you can have involvement of the MCP, the PIP, and the DIP of, let's say, the index finger, and no other joint is involved. That's a scenario that you can see in storiatic arthropathy that we don't often see in other type of arthropathy. So, you know, psoriasis can often have a row or a ray distribution of findings. Now, I want to talk a little bit about erosions because erosions can be very intimidating for many trainees, so especially in the hands. So I like to break erosions into three types, central, marginal, and juxtarticular. And by central, I mean the loss of bone is happening in the middle of the joint space. Marginal means it's happening along the periphery 
of the joint space and juncture articular means it's happening just outside of the joint space. And each of them have a differential. So for example, in central erosions, like you saw in this case, this is a differential. Erosive osteoarthritis can result in central erosions. Psoriatic arthropathy can result in central erosions. And anytime you mention psoriasis, remember we said chronic reactive arthritis is radiographically identical. So you must put chronic reactive arthritis in that same differential. So these are the three things that characteristically cause central erosions, loss of bone at the center of a joint. Along the periphery or the marginal, there's also three things that cause marginal erosions. Rheumatoid arthritis and, of course, psoriatic and chronic reactive arthritis. So notice that psoriasis and chronic reactive arthritis are in both central and marginal in the differential. Erosive OA is a prototypical type of central erosion with you know, the seagull type of erosions that we talk about. And rheumatoid arthritis is the prototypical type of marginal erosions, right? That happens because of the synovial panis that erodes the bare ends of the joints because there's less cartilage there for protection. So that's your differential for marginal erosion. And when we talk about juxtarticular erosions happening just outside the joint, it's pretty much gout. You're pretty much telling me it's gout until proven otherwise, right? So that's a nice differential for the different types of erosions based on the location in the joint space. Hope that was helpful. Tune in next week for another high yield MSK unknown case.